I can take these two identical squares and I can put them in light and dark surrounds. Now the one on the dark surround looks lighter than the one on the light surround. What's significant is not simply the light and dark surrounds that matter. It's what those light and dark surrounds meant for your behavior in the past. So I'll show you what I mean. Here we have that exact same illusion. We have two identical tiles on the left, one in a dark surround, one in a light surround, and the same thing over on the right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reveal those two scenes, but I'm not going to change anything within those boxes, except their meaning, and see what happens to your perception. Notice that on the left, the two tiles look nearly completely opposite, one very white and one very dark, right? Whereas on the right, the two tiles look nearly the same. And yet, there is still one on a dark surround and one on a light surround. Why? Because if the tile in that shadow were in fact in shadow, and reflecting the same amount of light to your eye as the one outside the shadow, it would have to be more reflective, just the laws of physics. So you see it that way. Whereas on the right, the information is consistent with those two tiles being under the same light. If they're under the same light, reflecting the same amount of light to your eye, then they must be equally reflective. So you see it that way. Which means we can bring all this information together to create some incredibly strong illusions. This is one I made a few years ago. And you'll notice you see a dark brown tile at the top and a bright orange tile at the side. That is your perceptual reality. The physical reality is that those two tiles are the same. Here you see four gray tiles on your left, seven gray tiles on the right. I'm not going to change those tiles at all, but I'm going to reveal the rest of the scene and see what happens to your perception. The four blue tiles on the left are gray. The seven yellow tiles on the right are also gray. They are the same, okay? Don't believe me? Let's watch it again. What's true for color is also true for complex perceptions of motion. So here we have, let's turn this around, a diamond. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it here and I'm going to spin it. And for all of you, you'll see it probably spinning this direction. Now I want you to keep looking at it, move your eyes around, blink, maybe close one eye, and suddenly it'll flip and start spinning the opposite direction. Yes? Raise your hand if you got that. Yes? Keep blinking. Every time you blink, it'll switch. Right? So I can ask you, which direction is it rotating? How do you know? Your brain doesn't know, because both are equally likely. So depending on where it looks, it flips between the two possibilities. Are we the only ones that see illusions? The answer to this question is no. Even the beautiful bumblebee, with its mere one million brain cells, which is 250 times fewer cells than you have one retina, sees illusions, does the most complicated things that even our most sophisticated computers can't do. So in my lab